We are finishing up our notes on reflections. Now it says draw triangle ABC which has coordinates 1, negative 1, 3, 4, and 5, 1. So the same triangle, draw the image, but this time after reflection over the Y axis. All right, so 1, negative 1 is A, B is 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then C, 5, 1 is C. And then we're going to reflect it over the y-axis, so go ahead and highlight the y-axis. A is 1 to the right of the y-axis, so A prime is 1 to the left. C is 5 to the right, so C prime is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left, C prime. And then B prime is 3 to the right, so or B is 3 to the right, so B prime would be 3 to the left. And you can see that this is congruent to the original. We call this the pre-image. We call this the image. And then we'll write our values. So A was negative 1, negative 1, A prime. B prime is negative 3, positive 4. And C prime is negative 5, positive 1. And when you flip it over the y-axis, the y the y values stay the same, so these stay the same, but remember the x values are the opposite of what they were originally. Example 6, draw the line of reflection which caused triangle KLMN to reflect onto triangle or rectangle KLMN prime. Go ahead and do that yourself, and then now I'm going to give you the answer it's reflected over the y-axis. So we have the pre-image and the image. The original and the new or the prime. Let's go down to example seven. Example seven. Quadrilateral CDEF is plotted on the grid below. On the graph, draw the reflection of the polygon CDEF over the x-axis. Label the image C, D, E, F, prime. So the first thing we do is we're supposed to flip it over the x-axis. F is 1 above, so F prime is 1 below. E is 2 above, so E prime is 2 below. D is 1, 2, 3, 4 above, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4 below the x-axis to make D prime. And then finally C is 2 above, so C prime is 2 below. Shape is congruent. Then it says, now create polygon CDEF double prime by translating polygon CDEF three units to the left and up two units. So now we're not reflecting, we're translating or sliding. And it says three units to the left and then up two units. So I'm going to take Let's see. They want us to look at C double prime. So really, I guess all I have to do is C double prime. So I go to the left one, two, three times. I go up twice, and C double prime is negative three, zero. Just to complete the shape, I'm going to move each one, two, three to the left up two. There's F prime, E to the left, one, two, three, up two. And then finally... D prime to the left, one, two, three, and up two. And D double prime is going to be in the same place that C prime was. And you have your new shape. The last part of this set of notes is example eight. We're supposed to describe how you can move shape two to exactly match shape two prime by using one translation and one reflection. So go ahead, pause the video, think about it on your own, and then press play. So one option would be you could translate first, and I could translate. I'm just going to take a few points to show you how this moves. You could show that it moves one, two, three, four times upwards. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
and you can kind of tell, all right, it's going to be like there. It's not perfect, but you get the idea. I didn't want to take every point upwards. Then from there, I want you to picture it going across the y-axis. So you could translate the pre-image upwards. I think I said four units. Let me count it again. One, two, three, four. Four units. Then reflect over the y-axis. The other option is reflect it over the y-axis first and then translate it four units upwards second. And that's your notes on reflections.